a massive buyout of a Chicago area medical supply company. A push by airlines to reignite travel between Britain and the United States as the pandemic eases and why some job seekers are becoming increasingly hesitant to relocate for new opportunities. Here to go behind the headlines is Crane Chicago business editor and wire. Welcome back Anne. I see you're in the office uh, for the first time in a long time. So our first story today is about a leveraged buyout of the Northfield based medical supply company Medline. Just how big is this deal? Well, by some measures, Brandis, it's the largest leverage buyout in corporate history. We're talking about $34 billion that have changed hands, thereabouts. Um, not for the entire company, by the way, but for a majority stake in it. Uh, the founding uh, family of Medline Industries, the Mills clan, uh, will retain uh, uh, a role at the company. And uh, indeed, uh, this is a fourth generation company that's been run um, very much as a family enterprise from day one. However, uh, they have built themselves up into being a giant uh, in the medical supplies business. And another thing that makes this uh, kind of an unusual deal, though the, the details are still coming into focus, is that it seems that the private equity investors, Blackstone Group and Carlyle, uh, among others that are buying in, are doing so not so much to do the classic kind of efficiency squeeze that the private equity industry is kind of notorious for. Instead, uh, they say that they want to grow this business, particularly internationally, and the Mills family's continued involvement probably ensures that that's going to happen. Now, we also know some airlines are pushing for a resumption of normal air travel between the U.S. and Britain, also as the pandemic eases in both countries. How significant would this be for the airline industry? Well, it would be huge. Uh, the London to New York route alone, Brandis, is thought of as, as the most lucrative uh, international corridor in the business. Um, that route alone generated a billion dollars in revenue uh, prior to the pandemic. So uh, the airline industry uh, united all of its rivals in the U.S. and its counterparts in the U.K. are all desperate to get regulators to reopen uh, that route uh, because not only do the airlines benefit, but so do the airports and all the ancillary businesses that feed off of that activity. So the, the, uh, the industry is getting together and uh, pushing regulators to say we're going to reopen this route uh, by July 4th uh, at the at the latest. Fourth of uh, July. So and we'll see how much leverage they have. And really quick before we let you go, and new surveys are showing that fewer people are choosing to relocate for their jobs. What's going on there? Well, it seems to be the one of the holdovers from the COVID era. Uh, Brandis, a uh, uh, Challenger Gray and Christmas, a Chicago-based outplacement firm, just did a survey that showed that in 2020, only 5% of job seekers said that they were willing to relocate to take a new job. Uh, first three months of this year, about 4% said the same thing. Now, just in comparison, uh, in 2018, that number hovered more around 10%. So it seems clear that the work from home era has taught us some lessons about the, uh, the need to relocate or how important location may or may not be to some employers. Okay. Uh, Crane Chicago business editor, Ann Dwyer, thanks so much as usual. Thank you, Brandis.